My sweethearts, what's up? What it do? Now back to this justice, my sweetheart. Get your like this all the way up, Michigan. Like this all the way up, Michigan. Michigan mom, my sweethearts, drove her two children into a river and suspected double murder suicide. Okay? The body of one of the two children remains missing, my sweethearts. Light is all the way up. Let's run this thing like cardio. A Michigan mom killed her two children Monday by driving them into the Kalamazoo River and what police believe was a double murder suicide, my sweethearts. According to a statement from the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety, officers responded to a Walgreens in Kalamazoo Monday night after getting a call concerning a missing man. There, they were met by two young females who were upset because they could not locate their uncle. Okay? Eventually, the uncle was located and reunited with the two girls, reads the statement. In speaking with the girls, Officers learned a family member had driven her vehicle into the Kalamazoo River. The statement continues. Officers were also advised the mother had 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 had, had her two children inside the vehicle when it plunged into the river. Investigators started searching the area where the car was seen entering the water. Oh my goodness. A search, a search boat was brought in, and within a few minutes of being in the water, officers located a submerged vehicle. This is sad. Mm. Moments later, the mother and one child were found, but the second child remains missing. Oh my goodness. So they only found the mother and one child. The other child still down there. The Michigan State Police dive team is assisting in the search for the third victim. The identities of all the victims are being held until a positive identification can be made. Along with family notification. Are you serious? I'm going to say this right here, my sweethearts. I ain't trying to bring up no Kanika stuff. But you see how this one is different? You see how this death right here is different? When they went down there and they found the dead, their two dead victims. You see how they're not letting you get no pictures? I don't see them taking no pictures of these dead victims. I don't see them putting a picture out there. Just straight letting you see how this family looked when they pulled them out of the water. I don't see them putting their dead bodies on the um, plank out there. Just letting them sit out there until forensics come and people come. And letting everybody just watch these dead bodies. I told you, my sweetheart, it's levels to this dead body, this death. When someone died, you coming up on death scenes and things like that. I don't see them taking the pictures and just letting the public see how they looked it. They even hot holding their identities of all of the of all the victims until a positive identification can be made. When they found Kanika straight up, they just found her. They they just knew a girl was missing. They didn't they did not know it was directly her. That's what I'm saying. It could have been anybody, but they surely showed her. Surely pop pictures of her. I'm just saying. Um, police is police are asking anyone who may have information regarding this fatal accident to call or anything like that. I'm shocked they don't have no cameras. I'm shocked nobody like none of that. I'm praying and hoping that this call went out of uh, you know, the, um when I just I just hope this lady didn't do this. Slowly driving your children, committing suicide with your kids. Unbelievable. I hope this not I hope that's not what happened. I hope our car went off track or something like that. I'm praying that it was something else other than what we are hearing. My sweetheart, it goes on. It goes on after this. Um authorities said they responded. To a 911 call, right? Monday evening. After 
passers-by saw two girls crying on the side of the road. They was crying. Like, they, they must have knew. Must have lost these kids. The girls told officers that they had previous, previously been inside the car with the woman and her twins, but were let out of the vehicle. They told officers that the woman had driven her car into the river. Oh, my goodness. They was in the car with them, my sweetheart. The bodies of the 44-year-old, um, the 44-year-old 44, the 44 woman, my sweetheart, and one of her 9-year-old daughters were found. So, they are babies, the little girls. The other daughter's body was recovered Tuesday morning with the assistance of the state police team. And they was crying. Passerby you saw this. I mean, see, and this is what I'm saying. When is it time to say something? You know? That's the problem. I'd have seen them crying on there. Oh, my goodness. And now by time, by time the, the citizens or the people out here called the police, they did. The two girls and the mom is gone. I mean, look. They don't know the motive. Mm-mm-mm. It don't make no sense. I've been here over 25 years. We've never had an incident like this. That's what I'm saying. When she was angry, angry at something, I don't really care who she was angry at. I really don't, my sweetheart, because you're taking down the children's lives like that. You all stressed out. And watch, they're going to say that. You you just killed your two twin, your two children. Them girls got out of there. If them, them um, passerby jumped out that car, I'd have grabbed them girls. I would have. Well, I'd have called the police and been like, that. this girl, this lady acting weird. She got two daughters in the car with her screaming and crying. I, uh, evidently, two girls jumped out. So I'd have took the two kids with me. Why at least grab one, call the police or something, my sweetheart. Because you heard what it say, the girls told officers that they had previously been inside the car with the woman and her twins, but were let out of the vehicle. Forget that. Mm-mm. I'd have called them police so quickly, right, right there. She a psycho or something. We do not believe this was an accident. See? And that's what I'm saying. She she did that. Thomas said. So, okay, we can already rule out nothing was wrong with the car. So, she automatically did that. So, they already know it's not an accident. That's why I said if I was the girls, I already would have been grabbing one. One of the girls that I could reach and call 911 real fast. Like, I don't know, this lady acting crazy. They do not believe it was an accident, Thomas said. Nothing in the river. Nothing. I'm sorry, not in the river, my sweetheart. Thomas said not in the river is not easily accessible. See that? So they say not in the river is not easily accessible in the area where the car was found submerged. You have to purposefully... Drive your car into that area. See that? Okay. So where that car was at? Nah, that's not an accident. You have to literally dive into that or drive into that. So she was literally trying to kill her and the children. Mm, mm, mm. I really hope they find out. But at this point, the baby's gone. She died. I just hope they find out what was the problem, what made her do that. For her to take her and her babies out, it was something serious. She was even, well, you have to, I mean, sick, going through something, some something. I hope they really find a motive about behind this, but I, I doubt it. I doubt it, because only probably she going to really tell what was the problem. My sweet also, it's your girl, Jennifer Norellis. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified, my sweet also. It's your girl Jennifer from the Rillis and I'm out.